Hi everyone, I'm Vasily, founder of Cogni. Today, I'll explain what's AI memory, and we'll do step-by-step -step approach to understand how can we actually move from tools like ChatGPT and Claude to systems that can process millions of rows of data and give our business and personal context to the AI systems so they can make best decisions for us. Let's ask ChatGPT, what did I do yesterday? This is an example of something that the ChatGPT or Claude haven't been trained on. So they won't know. They simply are trained on large volumes of data and they don't have any personal information or data related to us or the companies we work for. So this doesn't work and that's expected. How about we tell it that we went for a walk yesterday? In this way, we do what's called in-context learning. We tell the LLM that there is some relevant information it should use to answer the question. Well, LLM now knows I went for a walk yesterday. Most of the early systems that try to connect companies' data or personal data to the LLMs did it in this way. They effectively went, stored data in some type of a data store, and then got what they could to actually enrich this context that we sent together with the question to the LLM. They got some results, but these results tend to vary and they are not really accurate to a degree that we can use it in any type of a production system. It don't also scale well. It's hard to connect different data sources, it's hard to standardize them, it's hard to solve things. So probably see where I'm going at now. What's great about Claude uh, is its ability to integrate any type of a tool via what's called model context protocol. This is a list of tools we have available in our system and we've integrated Cogni, the tool we are building, to give memory to Claude and enable it to connect to our data and act upon it. So let's see how that works. Let's allow LLMs to connect to our data. Let's give Cogni via Claude the access to our files and create a permanent semantic layer for them. Here it is. We are now allowing to Cogni to use desktop. We are allowing the use of the file system so we can see what's there. Let's use desktop. So these are the files that we can see on the desktop and we'll Cognify the test file. In this way, we are creating and adding this file to our Cogni memory where it's going to be stored together with any other files we want to give it. And it's going to be decomposed into a set of objects and entities that can be retrieved on demand. In this way, we can control what we store, how we store it, and we can let Cogni do its magic. So we are telling Cogni that I went for a walk yesterday with my dog, so it would have information about our details. Here we can see that when we search for what, we, what did Vasilia do yesterday, with MCP tools, we can see that Cogni is giving us information on the events that happened that we added to its memory. This allows us to actually store the data that is relevant to us and let the LLM know what happened to us or what is the relevant business context or any other type of information we might want to provide to the LLM, but we don't want to always copy paste or store in different spaces. And what's important, we can do this at scale on millions of documents at the same time, and Cogni will always be able to find the relevant information. I hope we managed to show the clear value Cogni can bring to your system. In addition to what you've seen, it's important to know that Cogni can encapsulate and use other tools. It can also connect to a wide variety of vector graph stores, to a wide variety of LLMs. It can be deployed on-premise and it can be deployed in your own cloud. You can run it locally for your chatbots or personal applications and hobby projects using Olama, but you can also use any type of other tools. Here I am from another angle. So if you want to talk about Cogni with us, let us know. We are always available, happy to jump on a call or join our Discord server and ask questions if you are having issues running it or you would just like to request some features. We are here for you. Take care.